Hi everybody, it's me. It's Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Yes, and I have had such a lovely couple of days. Would you like to hear about it? You're going to anyway. Yes, it started off with yesterday, Monday, um, not being able to get onto the internet. First thing in the morning, thinking it might be just something with uh, my internet provider, and I called them and no, it wasn't them. It was something to do with my um, modem and or my D-Link. So, they suggested that, yes, your modem is cooked, and it's time for a new one. You can go to such and such a place and pick one up. So, I got myself ready, and yes, I haven't been feeling that well since the weekend. Not well at all. But that didn't stop me when it comes to my computer. So I drove across town that away to where the shop was supposed to be that sells these type of modems. Um, they're no longer there. So I went into the pharmacy that once was the computer place. And I asked the pharmacist if he knew where they had moved to. He didn't speak much English, but luckily there was a girl there that I could understand and who could understand me and told me where she thought it was. At the other end of town, so I get in my car, start driving out that way, and I'm driving and driving and not seeing any signs that say the name of the place or the name of the street that I had never even heard of before. And I've lived here since when? 1960? Uh, so yeah, I uh, had to stop again and went into some type of business. I'm not sure what it was, something about um, oil and oil and something rather. Mm. Don't look at my nails. Uh, they're not done. Okay. So I went into this place and you have to remember that where I live um, there's all these oil company things and stuff. All construction. What we call construction you may not think of as construction. You're probably thinking of construction as people building homes. When we say construction or he works in construction and don't pay any attention to my hair because my head has been in behind my computer and um, I got crushed. Uh, so anyway, it's not that type of um, construction. This is oil business and oil polyethylene uh, rubbers and st stuff, stinky stuff. Uh, so anyway, um, the lady in there that was eating her snacks of peanuts that are falling all over the place, she didn't know. She didn't know. She had never heard of the place or the street. And just then, a man was coming in and she said, Oh, you could ask so-and-so. And I thought, Oh, why not? <laughs> why not ask so-and-so? So I asked so-and-so. And, oh, thank goodness, he knew of the street. And it was only just a little shot, oh, but this way, farther down. So, uh, yeah. So I crept along with people honking their horns because it's really busy along there and they wanted to get going. Well, I'm sorry because I was looking for this street and this was very important. So I found it, purchased a uh, new little modem. I'm not going to say the price. Uh, and then headed on home thinking, foolishly thinking, that 
this was going to be just as simple as hooking it up and off you go. No, nothing in life is simple. I should have remembered that. Everything was kaflooey. So I spent another hour or so on the phone with a very nice man from our internet provider who tried to walk me through all the steps and the processes and uh, getting into the into the guts of your computer and it didn't work so he told me to call the um, the D-Link people right for the um, router I shouldn't have said their name because they're you know but whatever so I against my husband's wishes because last night I had a total breakdown like, I mean, I think I lost my mind uh, again for for maybe an hour. Um, so, but I went against his word, his, his suggestion, and I went ahead and called um, the uh, um, router people today who took me into the guts of my computer once again oh, with an accent that was so thick thick. I could hardly understand him and he could hardly understand me. But I dove into it with all my might. My hair and everything that had just been done went into the back of the computer. And I had all these plugs and wires and everything. And after at least a half an hour with him, we couldn't do it. Of course we couldn't. Why did I think we could? I don't know. It's just the cockeyed optimist in me. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, immature and incurably green. So then I was redirected by him back to the um, internet provider people who once again, and it was a, thank goodness, it was Dan. And Dan had a very young, handsome voice. And he too took me into the bowels of the computer. <sighs> no, it didn't work. Of course not, you silly things. He said it possibly is, and he's quite sure that it is the ether. What's it called? It's my Ethernet cable. And I said to him, Ether, that's exactly what I need right now. I'll let you know how this story progresses. Everybody have a great day. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.